Well, today the prosecution rested their case in the ongoing trial of Hannah Gutierrez Reed, but not before calling a few key witnesses. Spencer Shot breaks down everything that played out today in the courtroom. On day eight of testimony in the trial of Hannah Gutierrez Reed, witnesses covered everything from possible cocaine use while filming to where the ammo on set was sourced from. They called me and asked me to come up to her room. Rebecca Smith worked on the set of Rust as craft services. She testified on the day of the shooting, she was asked to sit with Gutierrez Reed in her hotel room before being questioned by police. Smith says Hannah asked her to hold on to a baggie for her. What did you believe to be in the bag? I believed it to be cocaine. And what did you do with it? I threw it in the hallway trash can before even going downstairs to my hotel room. And why did you throw it in the hallway trash can? Because, like I said, I am a recovering addict. I can't, first and foremost, have it in my possession. And second, I was, I was really very offended, and I didn't want anything to do with the situation anymore. The defense tried to cast some doubt on what that powder in the bag was. Smith admitted she does not know for sure whether or not it was cocaine. Then, the owner of the Albuquerque prop shop that supplied guns and most of the ammunition to the set of rust, Seth Kenny, took the stand. He told jurors Monday he knows Gutierrez Reed also brought ammunition to the set. Was it your impression uh, that Ms. Gutierrez was bringing dummy rounds that were already loaded into gun belts? Absolutely. Not only that, but we were counting on it. What do you mean you were counting on it? Because there were there, you know, everything else from PDQ was slated for 1883. Uh, in fact, it, some of it wasn't even manufactured yet. But on cross-examination, the defense highlighted that Kenny's prop shop was very unorganized, and he also had boxes of live ammunition. Is this a picture inside PDQ props? It is. Okay, sir, can you tell the jury uh, these items, what type of firearms those are? Well, they look to be long arms, obviously, because of, of the length. But what's inside those gun socks is a mystery. It could be anything from replicas, non-functioning shotguns. Um, could be anything. So these were there on October 21st. Are you, you telling the jury you, you don't know what was inside those socks? Definitely not. I have hundreds of guns. The defense is expected to call their first witness on Tuesday. Spencer Schott, KOB4.